Karl Friedrich von Franck at Schiptenen Castle in Lower Austria comes to Hitler's aid. He is a true genealogist who is hired to suppress Hitler's family tree and give him a clean bill of racial health. In this secret vault of the castle library, the files on Hitler's heritage lay untouched for decades. More than 1,200 pages document the dictator's family tree. Every school child in Hitler's Germany has to prove Aryan heritage. But the Nazi leader himself has a problem doing just that. Hitler's own family in no way measured up to the Aryan ideal that he placed before Germany. And there are very few members of his family, when you look through there, who would have measured up to that. And the truth is, most of them would have been considered a blemish or an embarrassment. Even the background of Hitler's father is full of mystery. He was born out of wedlock as Alois Schickelgruber. Later, Schickelgruber named Georg Hitler as his father, 20 years after Hitler had been dead. From that point on, the family name is changed to Hitler. Adolf Hitler has the family tree published, and Hitler's ancestral line is established. But his opponents take a closer look and discover the name Zalomon in the family tree. A Jewish name, as the press points out. There's no solid evidence of Hitler's Jewish ancestry, but the unanswered questions are an unwelcome diversion in the Nazi campaign. On January 30th, 1933, Hitler becomes Chancellor. Now, he alone can decide what people will know about him. From Erna Hitler's Chronicle. In the midst of the jubilant masses were Alois and Hessel behind the barricade holding their breath as they witnessed the event. Like everybody else, they saluted in the direction of the balcony. Their relative must have spotted them since he saluted back, and nobody on that giant Wilhelm Square had any idea how insignificant the two loyal Hitlers felt. The next day, reporters visit Hitler's half-brother, Alois, in Berlin. Overnight, this simple waiter becomes a celebrity and is eager to reap the rewards of his fame. Alois now has great aspirations. He wants to open his own bar in downtown Berlin. The dictator helps, as Alois Hitler's foster child recalls. Adolf must have provided some startup money for the bar in Berlin. And he kept giving them presents. I believe Mummy got a car from him. 